It's the biggest week on the block so far. It's more or less hell week this week. We're going up to level two. We're going to finish the master bedrooms, the ensuite, the walk-in robes. It's just going to be absolute chaos. The thought of this week just makes me feel sick. And the money is tighter than ever. We just have enough, to possibly, to finish the interior. That's the goal. The pressure is getting to everybody. OK, so we've changed it all. Why? 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 Because you said I could, so I did. And if that wasn't enough, last week I presented our couples with a challenge. My mate and I have taken the liberty and we put all of your names down on an open mic session at a comedy way, club. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just around the corner. No way. <laughs> yes, way. Tonight, did you hear the one about the four renovating teams that walked into a bar? They're on. Hey, Lisa, uh, we're from like, Adelaide and that's why we've got like an accent. <laughs> <laughs> but not everybody is laughing. I'm not being a spoiled yes, little about it, Alicia. You are. I am not. I do not feel comfortable doing this. Last week on level two. We're on track at the moment, but it's a huge week. By the end of this week, our couples have to have master bedroom, ensuite, walk in robe, and hallway completed. Last week was crazy, and then they've thrown this week on us, which I reckon is nearly twice as big. So throwing the bathroom in with everything else, now we're doing like almost four rooms. Four rooms for most, five rooms for Elisa and Lysandra. They have to finish off the void too and they're broke. But at the end of the day, we were the ones that chose to put a void in. Yeah. If we hadn't put a void in, we'd be $10,000 up. Yeah. We were the ones that chose to use royal oak floorboards. Exactly. You know, so we exactly. made certain decisions yep. that we wanted to run with. Yep. And, and at the end of the day, those decisions have increased the value of our apartment, we believe. We were just anticipating that we would have won a little bit more money when we did our budget to start with. By creating the void, the girls have lost over seven square metres of living space on the second floor. Bang, 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 they compensated by reducing the size of the walk-in robe and ensuite. Not actually having a walk-in robe, cupboards. We're going to line this all with timber floorboards. Oh, yeah. And then this is going to be double hanging, double hanging, long hanging shoe rack. So all your hanging is in here. Mm -hmm. And then over here is all your cupboards, your drawers, your... Oh, you've got a rack. Yeah, yeah. And this is our master bedroom, and it's still a fairly big size. Yeah, We've mapped five. out the bed, and we've got enough um, room for a little table and a chair in that corner, so... Yeah, it's perfect size, so yeah, yeah. you haven't really lost... You've only really lost the walking. And that's the compromise, isn't it? Hopefully, you know, we've still been able to give the people the feel that they've got a walk-in wardrobe, but they've still got the space to store things. But there's a whole lot to do before room reveal. Not much time to do it in. I want to get this right because I really want everything to fit. And as they need to win some more money, they better find time to rehearse for the comedy night tonight. You doing a bit of stand up comedy tonight? Are you going to be funny? No. I don't do funny. Yes, you do. I've no. seen you funny. You're funny to me all the time. I don't do funny when you have to, like, try and stand up and be funny. Uh, there's way too much going on today about the comedy. I don't, like, I'm not really... We didn't come here to be comedians. We came here to decorate and renovate, so that could just jam it up and so on. In the meantime, the girls are throwing every tradie they can find at the build. I don't think we've actually ever had a space where so many people have been working in. We've had a lot of people working around each other before, but this morning, we had the scaffold guys in, erecting the scaffold, we've had the air conditioning guys in, got our chippies, 
got the plumber, we've got the electrician, the CA guys. So it's, yeah, how many traders can you fit in one room? Over at Kyle and Cara's apartment, things are a lot more controlled. Yeah, just try and prioritise and get this wet area up to a stage where we can waterproof as soon as possible. So far, the super K's have won every room on level two. Carla Cara! <laughs> the super K's! <laughs> what do you reckon? And they're hoping to make it a clean sweep. I think the vanity is going to be a real standout feature for sure. You know, we're getting something pretty nice made up. It's a custom made piece, it's a one off, and it's got that real industrial feel to it as well. But they're going to have to rely on clever design as they're running out of cash too. A couple of weeks ago, we had a fair bit of dough to throw around, but our money goes so fast. We've poured so much money into that bathroom, and today's no exception. I've got a fair few trades on site two carpenters, Sparky, the plumbers will be here. But you know what? They're trades that need to be here and do their thing, so it's not like I can scrimp and, and have no plumbing in the walls. <laughs> Brad and Dale have a couple of surprises in store for the judges as well. They're extending the bathroom tiles right out into the master bedroom and installing a luxurious bathtub. Yeah, so far so good with all the planning of it. We've got a few issues we're just got to work through before we, you know, can tile and waterproof and all that sort of stuff. But once we get all those things done, um, yeah, the layout should be pretty good, I reckon. One of those issues is how to stop the water from the tub getting all over the bedroom. Just got go. news from the surveyor. Oh, yeah? He'd like an overflow in the bath. Yeah. Right? But I don't think you want an overflow in the bath, do you? I don't think the bath that we've chosen has one. Back to the drawing board, boys. Well, wait, Keith's wait. just come up to talk about this overflow, yeah. and he's saying that if the bath has an overflow in it, yeah. we don't we can do away with the four ways. Yeah. But doesn't. It doesn't. And he, but Keith's saying we might be able to retrofit one into it. Um I don't think so. We can buy kits to do it, apparently. So maybe we could speak to him and just see what it is. And then we might be able to speak to the plumbers and just see if we can retrofit one to it. Yeah. We don't have to have a waste here at all. That's right. At all. And all, all the water will just go straight down to a drain. Yeah. Dealing with wastewater is becoming an issue for the twins builder, too. You have to create four, but ideally we could put it in and have the grate across the back. We can't. We have to have the grate on this side. Yeah, because you can't get the waste yeah. at the back. This is the first bathroom on the block the twins have done since they let go of their builder, Greg. That's our shower here. Yeah. And then we just cut another sheet of flooring to go to the grate and then cut That's those pieces. That's too much Well, there's no other way of doing it. And it's looking like what's bread and butter to a master builder is not so easy for Sean and Marshall. Why can't we raise... Why can't we raise this section of... A floor up 20 mil, four grading battens from 20 mil to nothing, and then fill this in to suit. Yeah, but then you're gonna have to step out there. Our glass for the shower screen is going from floor to ceiling, so we need to work out exactly what our height of a bathroom floor is gonna be. And until we work out our shower, we can't order the shower screen. Until we work out the height of the floor, we can't do the shower. If you want to keep this floor same level as the outside, we have got to create the fall inside the shower. You can't move the waste and put the waste, put the waste in the middle of the floor and fall it that way. Well, you could do that too if you wanted to. Just move the waste, but you still have to fall the floor. Right, but if we raise this up, yeah, but then you'll have to step out there. That's what I'm saying. Tense times. Coming up. Stop! Stop! Uh, no, I gave no, no, you an no, no, explanation no, no. as to how we could drop it down for you. Guys, talk to me. There's tension on and off site for the twins and their team. She's going to be a spoiled little bitch about I'm it. Not being a spoiled yes, little bitch are, about it, Alisa. You are. I am not. I do not feel comfortable doing this. We are now well into the biggest week on the block so far. Main bedroom, ensuite, walk-in robe and hallway. By the end of today, all the walls and floors need to be completed. That means our blockheads have to figure out how to box in all the utilities. 
just marking out the uh, penetration from downstairs for this flue so I can get the core holes um, mark upstairs so I can do that for us now. Uh, then it'll become a bulkhead in the room. Over at Steve and Chantel's... That wall's got to have to come out. Steve's come up with a novel idea. Turning the frame around the flue into a feature and creating a reading nook. We can put a, a nice couple of bits of timber as, as a seating area. Throw in some plush pillows. Do you mean like a desk? Yeah, well, kind of, but more, more like a seating area. Yesterday, Steve and Chantel beat the record for the number of plan changes to their layout. I'm just wondering if we have it so it is coming off the ensuite. So set the toilet up to go in that spot there. We pull that all down, Harley. So we, 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 am I framing that up? I don't know, sorry. I think I'm just about to give you one other option. Today, their most difficult decision is the depth of their bulkhead around their bedhead. Oh, we've changed the configuration of the walk-in robe in the ensuite. There's no doors there. Now it's just a big bedhead against the wall. And even that's giving them trouble. Obviously, we need to box it out just to make, like, to justify why, because that yeah. is custom yeah. making. Yeah. yeah, they want to recess the headboard in, but how far, I don't know. It's not what we had in mind for the wall. It's just a bit disappointing already. I'm not laying any hopes on a win. Back at the twins' apartment, Leanne, the girl's curtain maker, has arrived, and she's managed to upset Marshall without even trying. I have to measure all three areas so I can give you the right measurement. No, you don't. Oh, my God. Just let him do it. He's going to give me the wrong measurement. I'm not going to give you the wrong measurement at all. <laughs> Marshall's measurements across the top and the bottom are different which is setting off alarm bells for curtain guru Leanne. We have to measure the size of the opening, what is going to be finished. You can't just measure the top. Otherwise, your curtain would have just been too big. So, are you no. telling me you're going to do a proper window? Oh, that loud. I'm a grandmother, so he's like a son, so I just tell him what to do. Slap him over the head. If he doesn't do it, watch out. What are they going to do? Floor me? <laughs> Is it out, is it? Oh, yeah, if it's where he said it's going to go, it's not. That, it's, that, that blind is wrong, that measurement you go there. Where you said the pass is going to go, it's not. Because... We're in the bathroom. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll fix it up. I can move it. It'll take me ten minutes to knock it back. Can you? Yeah. All right. If you've already made the track, I can move it. There's no problem with that. It's easy. There's tension in the air today, that's for sure. Our blind lady and our plumber aren't seeing eye to eye, and it's just one of those days. Downstairs, the boys' bathtub has arrived. Good to see ya. Ben. Ben, ben how are you, mate? Good. Bath for you. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. All wrapped up. Oh, nice. They've come up with a solution for the bathtub overflow. These bars, I know it won't happen in the time frame, but these bars, you can get them with the overflows. Yeah. The problem is, it won't be ready for reveal. Probably, I think, about a couple of weeks. Yeah. I have to speak to, uh, yeah, hope you don't. But it will be fine by auction day. We'll just put this in for now. We won't fill it up until we um, yeah. replace it and get one with an overflow. As long as you just don't seal around the edge. No, that's it. Yeah, we That'll be it. Just pop it out and that. we straight replace. Excellent. Last week, Steve and Chantel had their first room win. Steve and Chantel! <laughs> and as the winners of Living Dining Room Week, they get to visit the good guy's bonus room. So you got the tree, you got the whole, whole place to yourself. Yeah, this is Whoa. awesome. <laughs> yeah, crazy. And as a special surprise, we have spared no expense bringing members of their family all the way from Melbourne. And they're getting a bang-up lunch fully catered by Chantel's mum. <laughs> Life on the block can be all-consuming. And even when your family is nearby, it's hard to make time to see them. So good to see Mama and my Papa and all your family. <laughs> Jeez, he's getting bigger. Yeah. Oh, big kid, oh, massive. 
kids seeing Max and Jazzy was just awesome. It was unreal. What a what a bonus. How cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. Chantel, I've got something for you. Slide. Oh, yeah. Who is it? You'll see. Tell us something. Ooh. You want me to read it out loud? Yeah. Dear Chantel and Steve. Congratulations for winning lounge and dining room week. Welcome to the bonus room. You have won the choice of the products below. Option one, Samsung 50 inch FHD LED TV and Samsung soundbar. Whoa. Two Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 and Sony iPod dock. Option three, Vintech beer and wine bar. Congratulations and enjoy your dinner, Scotty. What do you think, darling? What do you like? Well, I'm leaning towards that wine bar. Mm. It'd be pretty sweet up on the terrace. It would. Go for the drink. Oh, <laughs> good idea. So, hands up, who thinks the TV? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hands up for the wine bar. Yeah. Oh, two the hands. Bar. You can put the tablets and... in the wine bar, they might notice. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my even <thieving> mum. <laughs> Back at the block, there's a bonus for Brad too. Oh, how yeah! His blushing bride Lara has come to visit. Not much coming to visit you. First time we've seen each other since the wedding. Obviously, it's pretty exciting to have Lara down here. Oh, that's good. She's gonna stay down for a few days while we finish off the master bedroom and all that. So. Probably put her to work, yeah, do that sort of stuff. But no, it's just good to have you. But there's no time for romance. All our contestants have a rehearsal for comedy night scheduled with Australian theatre sports champion Jason from iSelect. Jason? You're right, mate. You can't That's all right. There's a guard on that for a reason. <laughs> How are you going? How are you, mate? Now, this is you. Steve and Chantel. Hi. Chantel. Hey, Steve. How, How are you? Superman. Nice. These, mate, are your new pupils okay. for today. This is the workshop, right. guys. So right. you guys are funny. But you don't really need a workshop, mate, do you? This bloke's hilarious, Jase. Is he? Hilarious, mate. He's a barrel of laughs. Yeah. Look at him. That's right. Yeah, I'm a barrel of laughs. <laughs>, laughs. A massive barrel, yeah. And while some contestants are very open to the experience... All right. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to the block tonight. It's uh, wonderful to see your lovely faces and wonderful for you to see my lovely face. Hello, Jason. Oh. How you going, mate? So, <laughs> all right? Let's get, me, get me killer perm done. You've got some comedy <laughs> goals. Hello, Hello. I'm Jason. Car. Wow. Are these your props for your gear or are you just Possibly, getting in the spirit? Possibly, mate. Yeah, we're getting in the spirit. Yeah. We're open to suggestions. I like this. Yeah. It's good. Stay charming, stay happy. And if the audience see that you're not stressing and that you're, you're there for each other, they're going to relax. Elisa and Lysandra are reluctant to say the least. So have you guys put any thought into what you want to do? Yeah, we're not doing it. I signed up for a renovation show. I didn't sign up to be a stand-up comedian. Blockheads have at least four spaces to complete for reveal, except for the twins, who have five. And they also have to fit in rehearsal for their stand-up comedy routine tonight. Which leaves my mate Jason from iSelect facing his toughest crowd ever. My job today is to help you work through the ideas that you've got, try to hone it, try to give you uh, some suggestions, uh, some help, some gags if you need it. Look at you shaking your heads. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is this your nightmare? Yeah. A, I hate speaking in front of people. Yeah. I hate trying to be funny. It's not natural. And I came here to renovate, yeah. <laughs> not be a comedian. This morning, girls were worried about money to finish the build. Refusing to do the challenge makes no sense. Do you have any jokes about renovating? We're not witty like... You know, like the boys are, they just come off with things off the top of their head and it's like, it's just not natural to us. So I've got to stand up here and talk for five minutes and so I'm going to talk really slowly. 
Mm. She used to do drama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you never did drama? What did you do? Can I just get up here? Oh, I don't want to do it. How stupid did I look then? You just have to do it. The whole point of comedy is just to shake off the self-consciousness. I didn't come on to a show to do comedy. I came on a show to renovate. And to renovate, you need money. Give me a building challenge, then. You're building characters. That's like us acting. OK, sure. So it turns us into trying to be an actor, and we're not actors. OK, sure. So if you're playing yourselves, what do you want to talk about? Can I tell us? We'll say it. Well, uh, you talk about each other. Do you have interesting stories from, from this season? Back at the block, the twins builder Sean has a tough crowd of his own. Leanne, the curtain maker. What can we do for you? I've got problems over here. I'm You've always wondering... got one problem or another. Yeah, oh, I know. No, no. One more problem. You've got a problem about the steel there. Leanne's found a steel joist that drops below the bulkhead and stops her curtain track from closing flush against the wall. This side here, if you can drop down level with this straight across, I can work off that. I'm not doing two lights different. Well, at all. At well, all. The thing is... All I'm willing prepared to do is to run a piece of MDF hard up to here, right? Out and up to there. That's all I'm prepared to do. Well, I can't bring my track through. Well, and the drape's going to finish you here. You cut your track back. Yeah, but do you know how something that's going to look? <laughs> Tension between the trades has been a problem on the twins' site for a while. And with the girls away at rehearsal, Sean and Leanne have to work this one out for themselves. They're not going to like not being able to close the, uh, the whole shoe across the door either. It's going to actually close. Yeah, that's it. They can't get it any further than that. It's not a functioning door either, remember. It's a window. Yeah. You can't go outside. Well, what are you worried about then? What are you worried about? I'm worried about an hour and a half it's going to take me to pull all the MDF down and redo the whole thing. That's what I'm worried about. You know, I mean, I've got five guys here today working, you know, all asking me questions, wanting to know answers. And then I'm liaising with the girls as well. The last thing I want to be doing is worrying about curtains at this stage. I gave you the heights for all this a week ago. Did you okay? know at that point that you were going to have that jutting out? I didn't know that, no. I didn't know that then. Right, but for you to come in here now... I didn't say do it, I said will you? Yeah, and, and I categorically no. said, said no. no. End of story, that's it. I all will right. not move it. So you have to work around it. I'm sorry, Leanne, you have to work around it. Okay. okay. I'll bring the girls up and I'll uh, see You ring the girls, you. talk to the girls about it. Yep, I will. But I will tell the girls the same thing. I'm not dropping it. That's yep. it. Okay. You're lucky I'm, I'm even moving this for you. I'm not dead. I'm off with your head. I'm not mm. dead. No luck there. The twins are having their own battles. She's going to be a spoiled little bitch about it. I'm not it. being a spoiled yes, little bitch are, about it, Elisa. You are. I am not. I do not feel comfortable doing this. Sometimes in life you just you do it. have done drama and all that. Like so you're used to standing it. up. Yeah, well, the Cara others doesn't want to do it. If you have not done Cara drama or, like, so, or acting or whatever, you wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Just because you've done it, no, you feel that's comfortable not in that it, environment. Also, I hate public speaking. I hate it. Oh, is that why you did drama for four years? It's kind of all good for Lisa to get angry at me. I'm not angry. I just feel like it's you've just cracked the poos. I haven't. Well, that that's you don't not understanding where I'm coming from. I am because I'm that, the same. Because it's not like a normal challenge where I'm just going. I don't want to build something. Blah blah blah. Like this is different. I'm not. I'm not sulking. Oh, yeah, it's you different. Are. Like it, this is an actual fear of mine. That's the difference. It's not like a normal building challenge where we Why just don't want to do it because we don't like building. You know, we crack the poos a lot when it comes to that. This is different. I don't want to do this because I don't want to get up in front of all these people and try and be something that I'm not. Like try and perform. It's not what I came onto this show to do. All you need to do is be yourself. You don't need to perform. It is a genuine fear for her, and that's why I was hesitant to push too hard. I'm a little bit nervous that she could turn up tonight, see the audience, see the lights, and just go straight back into no land. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Meanwhile, Kyle and Kara are making great progress. Mate, you have to hit it hard and fast, otherwise you get caught behind. You have to go up over that. That's it. <laughs> You got that knife on your bag? Uh, no.
things in here are moving at incredible speed at the moment. We've got uh, four plasterers in here, a couple of chippies, Kyle and Cara running around. It's crazy at the moment, but if you don't keep up this tempo, it's going to fall apart quickly. Downstairs, Steve and Chantel have had a special delivery. Their costumes for tonight. That's great. Oh, there's some massive knickers. You got bloomers. Undies on the outside. Looks like superhero Steve has a super granny offsider. What's that? Is this for your comedy gig or? No. What, what comedy gig? I'm just um, going to the shops to get a coffee. Do you want something? I'm going with you looking like that. Looking like what? Nothing. Have I got something in my teeth? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Structural decisions are made and the trades are brief. It's time to catch up on some business outside the block. Let me live that fantasy. The twins are taking some relief from comedy in retail therapy. What's brought you in here today? We need to find a bed and bedside tables for our master bedroom. So if we tr get you to try the firm, a yep. plush and then an ultra plush, sort of find out what sort of comfort you like, because mm -hmm. we've got the same support in all of them, and, and make a decision from there. So lay down how you normally would too. Put your feet up, relax. <laughs> <laughs> we're buying probably the most important item in the room, which is our Sealy bed, and we're just testing all the types of mattresses there are. Well, you have to try it before you buy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the one for me. Yeah. I said catch up on business, not Zeds. No napping on the job for Bradley. He's giving his agent some timely tips for the campaign that he hopes will give him the edge come auction day. Oh, Dale's already made it. Hi, mate. Hi, Brad, how are you, mate? Good, how are you going? Good to see you again. See you. Yeah, Darren. Hey, how are you? Good. Grab a seat. This looks good. Grab a seat. It's a unique situation to be in where you're going to have four properties that are very, very similar go to auction on the same day. So you've got to try and find your strengths and the other guy's weaknesses to try and set you apart. In the twins downstairs area, they've gone for the more open plan, big kitchen, living, dining. Yeah. But that meant they had to have a smaller bedroom with less storage in it. They've got very little limited storage in there. Yeah. And then their downstairs bathroom, doesn't have a shower, where ours has got a bedroom with a big bathroom yeah. right next to it, you know what I mean? So I think that's a point. And like, like all the other guys, the other two guys, their apartments have got laundries in their downstairs bathroom, so they're really small. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of corporate leasings that happen around this area because it's so close to the city and yeah. the airport and everything else. So if yours is more practical in bedrooms, the bathroom size, etc., yeah. that could be a big winner for you. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, giving him those sort of pointers and talking through our apartment, he can get a, a good idea of where we're, where we're at. Back at the block, now that the girls have returned, so is Leanne, the curtain maker. Can you tell me what I need to do and I'll make it happen? Oh, no, Sean's not going to let you do it. Well, he's not going to let you do it. Well, he will. I've already had a fight. I'm running the show, so... Well, it's going to be fine. He's not going to let you do it. Stand by for round three. Well, I told him I'd bring it down. OK, well... MDF is going to stick. So why can't we bring it down? The drape cool. will actually sit in line with the top of the glass. That's the only window. That's it's not, not the a point. Door. It's the point of me having to pull the whole thing out and refit all the MDF back up again. Okay, but what I was can't the? Can't just do this on. section here and not that section What was the height that you gave there. Leanne, though? That's the height I gave Leanne. I can drop it and go straight for Peter's wife. So look, he's not going to do. He doesn't want to. Would you see it? Would you see it? Listen, hey, 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 hey. dropping hey. the bulk here. I didn't right? Stop, stop. stop. Uh, no, I gave no, no, you an no, explanation no. as to how we could drop it down for you. Guys. Guys, talk to me. Talk to me. Don't have an argument between yourselves. I understand how he finds it frustrating that he has to change what he's done because we're so short on time. But at the end of the day, it wasn't Leanne's fault either. If we ran a piece of timber through there, would it look odd? If it was all painted the same as the um, yeah, if underneath. it was say it was all painted. If it was all painted white or black or whatever, wouldn't wouldn't you wouldn't notice it? It looked better than. Having it cut yeah. short. It's a two million dollar apartment. You don't want to be going and putting I know, a piece but what, of what else do we do? Curtain. But what else do we do? Dunno. She's gonna have to try and work something out of her own accord. You know, unfortunately there comes a time where you've got to try and sort your own problems out. You can't have people sorting everything out for you. I'll show you a look. But in the end, Sean relents and throws Leanne a bone. 
Your window track. You screw that window track to the underside of that MDF. I'll bring that piece of timber the level with that steel all the way out and around, but only that width. Only yep. wide enough for you to screw a track to it. Yep. So if I do that, that's sufficient enough for you to work that. That would be beautiful. Well, thank heavens that settled. What he suggested to me then is what I suggested to him before. And all he could say is, I'm not going to drop the bulkhead. I'm not going to drop. I'm not. You expect me to do all this, all this work? I didn't. I just said, all I want is come down five centimetres just there. That's all I want. So he's doing exactly what I suggested at the beginning. So I've got my own way. See you later. Terrifying. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Scott Cam from the blog. This is legend comedian Jason Geary, aka Mr. I Select. How are you going? We have set our contestants from the block the most terrifying challenge of all time. They have to spend five minutes up here on open mic night and be comedians. And it's up to you guys to help them make some money. I've got five thousand bucks in my pocket right here. Every time you laugh. They get a few bob inside, a little box over there, and that goes towards their renovation budget. I don't want to build them up too much, but they're top notch. They're all sitting up the back of the room and they are terrified. Laugh if they're funny. If they're not funny, that's even good for us as well. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, please enjoy the night and make welcome our first comedians, Steve and Shen. Probably got a few bricks in the dax. Right now. They've had a week to prepare, but now the moment is upon them. Make welcome our first comedians, Steve and Shanta. Time for the blockheads to be funny on purpose. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, we're going to hear a little bit about everyone who's on the block tonight. You might know some names and some faces if you look around the room. We're going to see Brad. Brad actually works in the mines, which um, makes Brad a miner. And uh, if you've seen Brad, that makes perfect sense because he looks like a 30-year-old baby. <laughs> it cracked me up big time, especially the Steve part at the start. Uh, we've got Elisa and Lissandra. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. These, these women are mean, catty. <laughs> defensive and they're fiery. Apparently they're Western Australia's finest. That's, <laughs> that's not true. They're from South Australia. <laughs> now there is actually a couple of people left. Cara and Kyle. Hmm. They look very similar. They're married and they're brother and sister. <laughs> so uh, enjoy that. Mate, that was great. Two? Yeah. Two? Yeah. Two. All right, I think we've warmed up enough. I've got a, uh, a very special lady that I'd like to introduce you to. My beautiful sweetheart, Chantelle. Uh, we've been through thick and thin, and now she's thin, and that's a good thing for me. Uh, yeah! You're on fire. That was cool. This one was supposed to be a 30 second intro. This uh, special young lady, she was a model. We have seen her in Kmart catalogues. Um, <laughs> Sadly, in the small boys section. <laughs> uh, but uh, look, we've had a rough time on the block and uh, it has taken its toll on her. So um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my, my wonderful effervescent partner, Chantel. Come on, beautiful lady. 
Sorry, dear. Oh, you're right, oh, sweetheart. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Chantelle comes out and, like, you literally, you wouldn't even know it was her unless you knew. I'm sorry. Are there any... Are there any single men in the room? Well, there might be one more after this. Any single women in the room, then? <laughs> you look like a good keeper. There you go. That's for you. <laughs> so, Granny Shanny, tell me, how have you... How... Ooh. Oh, quickly, dear, you got to, you're talking as slow as Dale. Jeepers. <laughs> speed it up, speed it up. Come on, dear, we haven't got all down to die in a bloody second. What are your thoughts on Brad? Bradley, oh, he is a delicious piece of blueberry damn well pie. <laughs> Bradley, you're a big man, Bradley. <laughs> You know, there's another man on the block who's uh, quite delicious. His name is Stephen. How about a little, little kiss on my little choppers? Mm. I've taken my dentures out for you. That would be lovely. You. They're out of my... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is good. You're a handsome woman, Chantel. Oh, All right. A nice lady, am I? <laughs> All right. That will wrap us up, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, Chantal Ford. See you later. It was fun. Like, it was always something I wanted to try. So, um, yeah, just doing it was really cool. Oh, I feel so sorry for you guys. Even Chantel blew us away. Yeah, totally. And we had to go on straight after them, so we were like... <laughs> gosh, and you're all here too. Scotty, I'm seeing double, mate. You're right there. You're behind me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My main motto in comedy is awkward is funny, so let's make this as awkward as possible. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Right. OK, we are, seriously, the Block's biggest fans, and I would like to welcome up to the stage my wife, Cara, the second biggest fan. Well, I can't believe we're here. So we've been fans of the show now for years, right? And um, this year we finally decided we'd apply, and um, we made this really cool video. And so I cannot believe we actually made a video. <laughs> I'm embarrassed right now. <laughs> I'm really proud, yeah. I think, like, especially Cara, she's not a massive public speaker, so I thought you handled it pretty well. <laughs> uh. We get an interview and um, we obviously did all right. They asked me what I loved about Kyle and I just said... Everything! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I just said, um, well, I just love him. And um, when he walks into the room, everyone, you know, can feel his energy and... And then they asked... <laughs> How are you feeling it? How are you feeling it? And I then they asked, are. what do you love about Cara? She's just a good wife. <laughs> we didn't plan much We didn't for plan it. anything. That might have showed a little bit, but we still got some laughs. Can you believe that? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for the awkward clap just said. <laughs> Thank you. Love that all. So anyway, we're, we're on the block now and we're versing the, those guys. And um... At the end of the day, we're just stoked to be here. It's an amazing opportunity. So, Melbourne, thank you for having us. If anyone ever asked me to do that, I would have said no way. So it's just pretty cool that we can now say we've done a stand-up yeah. comedy act. <laughs> it's time for Elisa and Lissandra. Which one is it? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Elisa. <clears throat> and this is my identical twin sister, Alessandra. <laughs> it's a mental game for me right now. M my head's going, stuffer, I'm not doing it. But then the other side of me is going, we well, can't do that and you have to get through it and you have to just do something that you're not comfortable doing. Cassandra, get up here. <clears throat> get up here. Get up here now.
comedy night, and the fans have done their bit. Now it's the faves' turn. The twins are up first, and it looks like Lysandra's fear of public speaking might be winning. Lysandra, get up here. <clears throat> get up here. Get up here now. Don't make me tell Dale what you did before we came here tonight, then. I'll tell him. Tell me. We had curry and um, she took a big fat poo in your toilet. <laughs> you gonna come up now or do you want me to keep going? Okay. You know how they say that twins quite often feel each other's pain? You've yeah. heard that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Are you coming? No? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm up here. <sighs> that is what I have to deal with every morning. That takes me that long to get her out of bed. See, my sister's got this thing. She takes so long in the morning to get ready. Um, she changed five times before we came here tonight and she still looks like that. <laughs> Sister. Having to take the mickey out of other people doesn't really sit well with us, so we thought, why don't we do something that they're comfortable with and just pay each other out? Well, if you don't start to get rid of the hair that's on your upper lip, <laughs> I'm going to have to start to call you Brad or Dale. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, you know how they always say that there's a slimmer twin? Dale thinks you've been stealing cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> oh. Well, you know how they always say there's a <coughs> prettier twin? Bradley last night was saying that I'm far prettier than what you are. Is that right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it was, it was awesome. We, everyone had a real ball. Surprisingly, I wasn't actually that nervous. We're not always mean to each other like this. Like, we can say nice things about each other. Hmm, yeah. How much time do we have? How much time do we have? 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Okay. I know how to give Lysandra a compliment. something we didn't want to do and I think we pulled it off and yeah I mean as if you wouldn't be proud I think we were all on a high. Please make welcome to the stage our last act Brad and Dale. It's not our fault you paid for tickets. <laughs> <laughs> all right you've met the others thank god we were last because now you've seen uh, the sort of thing we have to deal with daily. Uh, uh, we also met Steve for the first time tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> welcome to the block, Steve. Well done, Steve. And yeah. Welcome to the block, mate. Uh, it's taken six weeks, but he's finally arrived. Come yeah. on, champ. Now, in saying that, I suppose we'll just start off. I think you've all seen the other couples now. You know what they're like. I think the only thing we can do is try and give you a little bit of our insight into the other couples. So we'll start off. In order, house order, I suppose we'll yep, go Steve with. Yeah, Steve and Chantel. Who are we for this first one? Uh, Steve, Steve and Chantel, Chantel, we just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait a little while before I tell him. Excuse me. Put him on, yep, yeah, on. Further? Yep. Further. They're on the wrong way. Let's just run with it anyway, Chant. Oh, God. Ex excuse me. about camel, camel toe. toe. <laughs> <It's> camel <laughs> the camel toe was not planned. <laughs> That's an extra I've added in. Imagine me. On roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I'm Steve after an all nighter. I'm a, no, 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 no. Steve, we've got to do heaps of painting. Heaps yeah. of painting. <laughs> Steve, come on. <laughs> no, no, the painting. No, no. <laughs> 
I don't know why I didn't think to paint on roller skates. Hello. Who are we doing now? All the other newbies, Kyle and Cara. Kyle is a uh, chippy, obsessed with wood. When you walk into their house, it looks like the inside of a log. Cara is like the world's fittest woman. She has abs on her chest. So let's just run with that. Pretend this bra is a sports top. Cara, come on, this is like totally rad because we're like surfers and stuff from the Central Coast. We love it. Yeah, but I'm so fit, Kyle. I've got to also work out. I need to do like some heaps of carpentry and stuff. And I'll do like heaps of black butt. I love black butt. Black butt's amazing. I'm not sure why the microphone's yeah, yeah, doing that, yeah. but I've got to Google Scandinavian style and then also work out. That, that's really suggestive. Dale in the bra was pretty funny. I've yeah. never exercised that. I think he's going to have <laughs> some more followers once that goes to air. Uh, we're from like, Adelaide, and that's why we've got like an accent. All right. Um... Yeah, Les yeah, Alessandra. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? What's that? Is that you were like totally bagging me out when you were doing your comedy routine? What's not? Yeah, you were. What's not? Like, Do you know what? What? Um, when you said it takes me like twenty minutes to get ready. I did. Uh, whatever. Guess what? What? At the end of it, I still look like you. What? <laughs> I think we had a time. Okay. I think that's it for us. We've done it. Thank you. We'd seen a couple of good acts and we sort of got a little worried about it. And then uh, once we got up last, at least the audience had met everybody by that stage and we could really take the piss by then. Well, they all did a sterling job. And there was definitely 5,000 bucks worth of laughs. All that's left now is to divide the spoils. Did you hear the one? about the four renovating teams that walked into a bar. <laughs> Incredible effort. It was amazing, wasn't it? It was great. And I was so happy with all of the results this afternoon. You guys should be chuffed because they absolutely loved it. So well done to everyone. <laughs> they did love it, and I want to point out, you're now fully-fledged comedians. Yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> You've been fantastic. And I'd like to now go straight into the winner of Comedic Night on the Block with 1600 bucks in their box. The winner is... Team number four, Brando. <laughs> Coming in in second place, only $100 behind. Oh. We all know. It's David Chattel. Well done. Well done. Well done, bro. You were made for that. Thanks, mate. And you know what? There was only 100 bucks between third and fourth as well. So coming in in third place was the Twinnies. Yay! Good catch. And, of course, Kyla Cara, there you go. Yay. Now, take your money and get back to the block. Right on, mate. We did win the comedy show. We've spoken to our agent and we're hitting the road next week. Um, doing a run of dates. I think that's what they say. I assume so, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night, Red Oak Challenge that will melt your heart. It's good to be able to do something and, and help young people in Australia get off the streets and into a nice, comfy house. You want to make them feel safe, feel loved. It actually makes me quite upset thinking about it. Four teams, four amazing rooms, only eight hours, all for homeless kids. It's going to be a race to the finish line again. And later in the week... Um, not sure we're going to get all our painting done. Cool and Carl loses it with the Keithinator. Well, it's just how it is. Keith, pull your head in, mate. Um, I think his head's getting a little bit big, and I think he needs to go back to the old Kyle. The twin secret weapon nears completion. But that's your trump card. That's been your trump that's card trump all the way card. through. That eight square metres of nothing. <laughs> it's been your trump card. <laughs> Brad and Dale are upping the stakes with a bath in their bedroom. Wow, wait. It is the thing of the block. 
loose, and the incredible pressure finally breaks the twins. Get over it, Liz. Nobody has to answer to you. You're not the boss. People are in this world to serve oh, you. Oh, yeah.